When we first launched the 3 Doodler, we asked the world to imagine a pen that could literally draw in the air. Two years on, we've made the world's first 3D printing pen even better with a new and improved version that's slimmer, lighter, quieter, and even easier to use. The 3 Doodler heats, then rapidly cools plastic, allowing instant 3D creation. And with no software or computers, the possibilities are limited only by your imagination. We've shipped over 130,000 first-generation 3 Doodlers, and our community has used them to create amazing things, from jewelry, to RC planes, fully 3 doodle dresses, architectural models, and even writing braille. It was because of the support of this Kickstarter community that we were able to make the 3 doodler dream a reality. To say thank you, we've decided to bring 3 doodler 2.0 to you first. Completely redesigned from top to bottom and housed in a sleek aluminum casing, the new 3Doodler is the result of over two years of research and development, all aimed at giving you the best 3Doodling experience possible. The new 3Doodler is also packed with loads of enhancements, making it smoother, sleeker, and easier to use than ever before. We're also releasing exciting new accessories, including the Jetpack, a portable power pack that gives you the freedom to 3Doodle on the go. To help kickstart creativity in the classroom, we've created a special educational bundle, complete with pens, plastic, accessories, and curricular materials, which you can send to any school, library, or makerspace of your choosing. If you can draw, write, or wave a finger in the air, you can create with the 3 Doodler. Our community website has hundreds of projects and stencils that you can download for free and it's filled with how-to videos and images of inspiring creations from around the world. So, when will you get your new 3Doodler? We'll start delivering to our first backers in a few weeks, and the majority of you will be 3Doodling by April. We can't thank you enough for joining us on this amazing journey.